Hello, hello guys! Good afternoon and we're back para sa ating Game 2 ng ating uh, first series. So, uh, kanina for the performance for TSM. Tignan natin if they could continue with that kind of performance and get the series 2-0 up against Team Secret. So Dawnbreaker, Temper Assassin, both has been picked by TSM. Wala naman ang Sven dito. And uh, Keeper, Pangolier naman yung kinuha ng Team Secret. So ando pa rin naman yung combination, Chakra, para sa Swashbuckle. May spam out. Now, for the set of Secret, we're still waiting for the third pick. And third pick, they'll be grabbing Warlock this time. Kanina, ito yung heroes ng uh, TSM, Warlock. Seconds. Five seconds remain. So now on to the third pick. TSM, tignan natin kung sakaling pero sila maganda mawawawa dito. Phoenix will be picked. Yeah, three heroes na yun sa side ng Team Secret. Parang di sila ideal humit din sa egg. So maganda naman na yung idea for grabbing Phoenix. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. So fourth pick, ang inaantay natin ngayon. One minute and thirty seconds remaining para sa reserve time. Dyer must choose. I speak for the trees. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain.
So global presence naman yung gustong uh, i-take advantage dito ng TSM with this nature's profit for their fourth pick. It is Radiance Man. So Medusa for the side of Team Secret. Hindi ko sure kung gano'n ko okay pa si Medusa. Bira na lang natin makita itong Medusa. So last ban on both sides, still waiting for it. Dyer's turn to ban. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. So, 10 seconds remaining para sa reserve time ng Team Secret. And the Slark will be removed. Last pick for Team Secret. Ano ba? Hero ba ni FPZ yung inahanap natin dito or hero ni Sumail? And last pick, Ember Spirit para sa Team Secret. So, offlane Pangolier it is. Together with Keeper of the Light. Yun ang yung mga yara dito. Now, for TSM naman, ano ba yung pwede lang makuha for their last hero? Hmm. I mean, safe lane TA nilang ba? And then, try to get a better mid lane hero to lane up against an Ember Spirit Storm. Band out naman na. Sino pa ba yung possible na mid? Makakuha dito ng TSM. Biglan na gano'n, no? Ah, hindi. Wala na pala yung anti-mage ban out pala. Windranger? Or maybe Slark. I think Slark mid. Ay, na-ban out pala yung Slark. Sorry. Ben? Faceless Void you will enforce your will upon the battlefield today. So Faceless Void, para kay Timado. Meron ba tayo maganda follow-up? Sunray, Supernova. So I think okay lang din naman yung Faceless Void dito for TSM. 
and uh, the Fizzle Blade Carrier, possible din naman, okay din naman siya in way in addressing Medusa. I'm gonna go for TSM for this game too. I think they have the better draft. Wala rin sila magiging problem for the lane stages. Isa rin yun. So, I think uh, TSM got this. Mukhang 2-0 tayo dito. Wala na sa secret si Armel. Well, sa secret pa rin naman siya. Stand-in lang naman si Sumail dito. Ang bilis na itong maglaro. Yung ganitong uh, draft na ginawa ng... Uh, ang tawag dito? Ang TSM. Lalo na yung Miniatures Prophet. Tapos may Dawn Breaker. Sobrang galing nila mag-utilize uh, ng mga global skill. Well, here we are para sa ating game number 2. Tingnan natin kung makakabawi pa ba yung Team Secret or not. Prepare yourselves for the main event. Thirty seconds and counting. Goodness. A moment for me, eternity for you. So, ito na. For the bounties, kanina alam mo mang yung TSM. Tignan natin kung uh, even exchange na lang yung mga yari dito or team secret naman yung nalamang para sa bounty runes. Yeah, there goes the Fire Spirit zoning them out, and actually, two for two lang naman tayo dito for the bounties. Yeah, even exchange for the bounty runes this time. Although Kasane just getting bullied by Poppy. Ah, ano ba to? Keeper? Keeper post five. What? So, position four yung Warlock. Eh, yung trip nila dito ngayon for Team Secret. Medyo weird. Actually, mas gusto ko pa rin yung Keeper position 4. Kasi parang kahit ilagay mo sa post for yung Warlock, same pa rin naman yung impact niya sa game. Na kahit gaano, ano, kung ano nung item gawin mo dyan sa Warlock, same pa rin yung gagawin niya sa teamfight. Magbabagsak lang din ng Golem. Diba? Ganun lang eh. Unlike nung kay Keeper, kapag marami siyang uh, items, diba? Mas marami siya pwedeng gawin sa mga teamfights compared to Warlock. Warlock yun yan. Bagsak ng Golem, Fatal Bonds, Upheaval. Yung isa lang sa pwedeng makatawag dito. Pagkaroon ng changes or uh, impact para sa Warlock is yung mga Aghanims and Refresher Orb. I think din naman yun na unahin agad dito ng Warlock. So, magkakaroon tayo ng pause. Two minutes, mic lang daw. Sabi ni Whiteman. Siyempre, another game, another pause tayo. Hindi pwedeng walang pause. Dapat every game yan, consistent. Magkakaroon tayo ng uh, pause lagi.
Ito na. Back to the game naman na tayo dito, mga boss. Dyer's top tower is in danger. So bottom lane Half HP for Timado Ari dito magkitipi out pa rin naman Ayan, Babalik naman siya sa may top lane And still no first blood Inatin ka dito is yung uh, Possible rotation ni Ari sa may middle Kaso nga lang Templar Assassin lang yung, kasama, yung ano, Hero nila sa middle lane eh. Parang hindi siya yung magandang hero na Pwede makatulong sa Nature's Prophet Well, bottom lane na lang yung magiging target instead FBZ, Swashbuckle still available Just trying to reserve it And actually short range na Swashbuckle lang ginawa ng FBZ And that's it, he's dead Whiteman gets the first blood Oh, ito na. Rotation over to the mid lane. Although, first mail, ando naman yung curling blade. And, uh, enough naman na yan. Para lang makasurvive. Pero kailangan niya umuwi sa base. Dahil, uh, wala na rin siyang, uh, HP. So, free lane for the Templar Assassin. Now, bottom lane. Ari, again! Man, grabe yung ginagawa niyang rotation dito. Sobrang nag step up si Ari. Though, for FBZ, he'll manage. Nabuhoy pa rin naman siya. Thanks to the Shadow Word. Pero grabe yung impact ng uh, Nature's Prophet sa ginagawa niyang rotation. Talagang pinapahirapan niya dito yung lane stage ng Team Secret. Crystal is out of mana again. Meron naman siya 7-1 charge. So mukhang okay pa rin naman siya dito. Chains Pero mamatay pa rin naman si Sumail 2-0 na on the board TSM dito Medyo lamalamang na naman sila Ito na naman tayo Baka magdiradiretso na naman yung TSM dahil dyan And now over to FBZ this time Timado Wala naman na siyang mana Pero they have the slow given over to FBZ Swatch back on his way out First hit Time lock para kay Timado after using the time walk. So a kill secured again for TSM. 3-0 on the board. 1k advantage na para sa TSM boys. Sprout over to Sumail. Again, andito na lang. Sai Blades pa nga. Yung pinagagamit ni Prail doon. Sumail level 5 only. Mail strike for the follow-up. No running. So Mail goes down and now look at towards the damage. Dina may tutulin teleportation, mukhang malayo na rin yung warlock and that should do it. So two consecutive deaths for the mid lane and that's two key advantage already for the side of TSM. 4-0 na mga bossing. Now Sunray, bottom lane, there goes FBZ, down to half HP and a couple of right clicks coming off. FBZ will fall, kill secured for the side of TSM squad. Dyer's bottom tower 
is under attack. There is little hope for Radiance in the tower. The Dire Scan. On the hunt for Radiant Force. Dire's bottom tower is in danger. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Eight minutes. Let's check the network. Bottom lane, FPZ. Inaabot na naman dito ni Timado together with Whitemon. And that's his third death, I think. Actually, fourth death na ni FBZ. 0-4 for the Pangolier. 0-2 para kay Sumail. And 6-0 na yung score natin ngayon. Good day nga pala kay Leonard Henry Chabermas. Yan. Hello, boss. Welcome sa ating stream. Game 2 of our first series pa lang naman tayo dito. Para mukhang lumalamang na naman yung TSM. They're having a good start for the lane stages. Can they continue this? Tier 1 bottom tower. Nakuha agad ni Timado. I mean, faceless void phoenix yung nasa may bot lane. Pero napasag agad nila yung tier 1 bottom tower. And that's huge. Sobrang nanalo sila sa lane na to. Dahil dyan, hindi naman na kailangan ma... Uh, umalis ng void sa may bottom. Talagang lagyan mo lang ng wards. Iwanan mo lang yan. Ari dito. Uh, deciding to rotate on bottom lane again. Pinagtitipan nila dito si FPC. Cronsphere available naman para sa faceless void. Midas, I think it's on its way. Oh no, delikado ba? Di naman. There goes the fire spirit. Just trying to pressure FPC. Nas for Crystalis. Ito yung pangit kasi kapag uh, warlock yung kasama ng Medusa sa lane. Ang mangyayari, walang kwenta yung Shadow Word. Kasi hindi naman yung HP yung importante kay Medu, yung mana So, i-heal mo siya. Eh, yung mana yung gusto niyang makuha. Ooh! Random dodge for some mail. The Chronosphere won't connect. That's a good one. So, almost 3 minutes out para sa Chronosphere ni Timado. So, might be space given for the side of King Secret. But look at this. TSM. They just want to keep on going, but there goes uh, Yamich joining the fight. Upheaval, Fatal Buns over to the Swashbuckle. Aradito might be in trouble, so the Guardian will be used. Sustained given. Golden Thunder finally committed by the FPC for the control, but the Supernova has been used as well for the set of TSM. Zoning them out. There's nothing that they could do about this. Ari, oh, no couple people at Behind Nature's Prophet. Sunley, Supernova is going to be successful. Now Crystal is dropped inside the Sprout. Dives in forward, but he white one with the fire spirit just being aggressive with the star breaker coming off. FPC down, so male just looking towards over to white one. Can he finish him off? The stone gist has been committed already. But as for Sumail, he needs to run. White one still alive. Prial continuing with the chase, still has the refraction charge. Going for the tier one mid lane tower first. Deny not going to be successful. And now Crystalis might be the target next. They have the slow from Sionic Drop Timado. Will be uh, ignoring Sumail. They wanted this uh, Medusa, and down he goes. A big kill secured for TSM. Even without Chronosphere, nanalo pa rin yung TSM sa team fights.
So, ano na ang plano dito ng TSM? 7k advantage for now. Ari? Well, it has been spotted. Uh, Bryl is here. Tries to help him. Zoning them out, but it won't be enough for Heroes though for the set of Team Secret. So they'll be able to claim their first kill. Ari goes down. Ah, uh, huwa din ang kill. Ano po standing? 1-0 tayo ngayon, boss, in favor of TSM. So isang panalo na lang TSM and we'll go proceed na sila sa Grand Finals. Which is lamang sila ngayon ng 6k. 13 minutes, 8-1 yung score. Now Poppy has been caught. They have the slow, the far spirit damage. We'll be able to take out the Keeper of the Light. But now Whiteman in trouble as well. And that's three heroes for the Sarah Team Secret. Ready to claim him. And that's the uh, killing spree. Streak. Yeah, nakuha ni uh, Sumail. But it's not going to be able to get the crystalis. It's not going to be compared to Faceless Void and uh, Medu. I've earned the uh, Temporary Assassin, sorry. And now, speaking of crystalis, Stone G's use immediately. Timada still ra I mean, uh, managed to secure the wisdom. Solar Guardian. And it's not going to be able so uh, no problem for the crystalis. It's not going to be Solar Guardian to the Kasane. Now, Brail still farming. Desolator might be his next item choice or maybe shard upgrade. Yung mas uunahin niya dito. Fatal Bonds and then uh, stacks provided para kay Crystalis. Nakikilich na nga lang ng XP dito yung Warlock and then yung Ember. Tagal, mag-clear ng stocks. So, Diffusal Blade. Ayan, magiging item choice pa rin naman para kay Timado. Manta style Diffusal. Para lang mas mabilis niyang ma-burn out yung mana ng Medusa. And I think uh, that's a good itemization for the Void. Nag-benefit naman talaga siya sa Manta Style Kasi yung Manta Style Yung illusion niya Nakakapalo inside Chronosphere Then goods naman yung Manta Style din sa ginato Since uh, they have Ember Spirit Never refuse good food. Off the blade mail, so mail. Yeah, nakapag grind out pa rin naman siya. Just in time. What need have I for invisible? Oh, it's quite nice actually. Rolling Thunder, Chaotic Offering, Kimado Dito getting controlled still, the chains, no, the Chronosphere will be there. Solar Guardian, kaso umalis naman si Timado, so he won't be healed up, Kasana Dito, stun, 3 euros, Timado, Joy's back in, he needs to disengage. Time works out, afterwards, nagdilation lang naman siya to connect over to multiple heroes, now to mail. They won't build the person down, for the Temporary Assassin needs to be careful, the Illusions and the Chaotic Offering. Is doing so much work to remove his self refraction. So backing off for the Temporary Assassin. Tier 1 tower is still available. They have the slow swatch battle coming off. White Mandito has the supernova still if they need it. Then Sanri coming off. Kasane dropping. But he won't die for now. Poppy running away. Keeper of the Light. Might be the next target now for the side of TSM. The much easier one. Go Scepter finally comes to an end with the supernova use coming off in the Phoenix. Down goes the Keeper, looks for the next one. Warlock Tito will be caught by the Ari and same goes with the FBC. Swash will back out, they've lost two, make it three. Ember goes down and FBC might be next. 
Sprout traps him inside and he got the wrong three. But the good thing does have still the swashbuckle, but they won't make it. In Abut Palin's and Celestial Hammer Dito. Four dead in total for the side of Team Secret. Oh, shout out nga po pala kay uh, Jessa Alano. Mehorada. And watching in Laguna. Shout out po. And shout out nga po pala kay uh, Darren San Miguel. Eh? Sobrang lasinggero. Mag-inom ka na naman kagabi. Eight ten minutes in, eleven K will advantage for the side of TSM. Finders, keepers. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning for enemies. <laughs> Top lane Abby. Yeah, ma pak TP out pala naman successfully dito in Nature's Prophet. Now for Brile, Meld, Sumail. Ayun lang! Ang aga niya ginamit niya sa Ionic Trap. Expected mo na yun eh. Mag a slight of fist muna yung Ember. Well, Whiteman here gonna pop his ultimate. Do they have enough attack speed? Three heroes will be hitting and will be enough to finish off the Supernova. Now Ari has been caught as well. Two supports down for the side of TSM. So, medyo nakahinga naman yung Team Secret dyan kahit papano. Nang impact si Crystalis. Ay, shoutout nga pala kay Cyril Jover. Yan, from Cebu. Shoutout sa bossing and welcome sa ating stream. Desolator completed para sa Templar Assassin, so more damage to para sa side ng TSM. For the Faceless Void, Manta Style up and going for the Fusil Blade. Once the Fusil Blade is up, delikado dito yung Medusa. Kailangan niya na yung kanyang uh, Butterfly. Please don't tell me na mag a Skadi muna siya dito before getting B-Fly. B-Fly muna, boss. Kasi kailangan mo na lang evasion eh. TA, Faceless Void yung katapat mo. Hindi pwedeng uh, wala kang evasion dito agad eh. Lalo na magkaka-defusal blade na yung void. Yung faceless void. Mas lalong kailangan mo ng butterfly dyan. Well, pero kung uh, wakang nag-iisip pa rin naman si Crystalis dito kung ano yung uunahin niya. Kung ano ba yung uh, mas worth bilhin muna. Blessings. Para sa kanyang second life. Meron naman siyang 4k gold. And uh, still continuing to farm. 13-4 on the board. 11k yung kalamangan ng TSM. Now Roshan But he should be able to claim this Jade secured para kay uh, Trial. Sunray, FBZ. It's fine still.
always renew me. So, what did they do? Okay, butterfly. That's much better. That butterfly instead of Scotty. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Well, Kasana dito. Bleed mill has been used. Warlock goes down first. Donuts were committed over to the Medusa, and there goes the Defusal Bleed, kicking in out of mana already. And down he goes. Keeper will be next. Poppy to fall right here. Three dead without any buyback for the side of Team Secret. Sunray pops the Manta style for some mail. Now, might be looking to turn this fight around. They have the chains over the faces. Boy doesn't have his Aegis. He's over to the Templar Assassin. Timado might be in trouble. Timok is up again. Rolling Thunder continuing for FPZ. But they can't find Timado. Looking for Ari instead, or maybe Whiteman. That should be an easy kill. Whiteman goes down. Looking for the next one. Templar Assassin, can they catch him? His rune is available. Para kay Brile. So, out of the question, na mahuli ng Templar Assassin dito. But a secret will do smoke. Tries to go for another kill. Faceless void, yung pinaka malapit. Kaso nga lang, di sila pumunta sa may triangle camp. Nature's Prophet showing himself on bottom lane. And as for Ari, mo magi disengage naman na siya dito. Mong wala pa ang abutan niya team secret. Where Medusa will be pushing mid lane. Mid lane tower. Never refuse gold given. Pag kinik si Crystal, si Crystalis. Di ko rin. Masin ba ang mga okay pa na position 1? Well, Atos over to the Ember and uh, makapag-renal out pa rin naman siya. So just taking their time for TSM. Getting their next item. MKB para sa Faceless Void. So ando na agad yung answer up against the Butterfly ng uh, Medusa. Fourteen K yung kalamangan ngayon ng TSM. So Shiva's guard para sa Ember Spirit. Going for Scadi for the next item si Crystalis. And extra stats, extra survivability na rin yan. Kailangan nila ng pang save inside Chrono. Ayun yung uh, missing for Team Secret. Defiant Shell. Para sa Faceless Void. Yung counter attack no, nag time lock. Saklap no. Completed the MKB para sa Void. Now Satanic is going to be his next item. Satanic or Butterfly? Fili ko Satanic na lang para meron siyang isa pang, uh, pang dispel na item. Parang hindi naman niya kailangan ng damage pa or attack speed. Sapat naman na eh yung meron siya ngayon. 
Lalo na pag nag-level 20 talent, di ba mas lalang madali na lang mapatayin yung Medusa inside Chrono dahil sa bonus attack speed. Paladin Sword, nakuha din naman ng Dawnbreaker dito. So, uh, increase ng uh, sustain. Paladin Sword din naman yung kinuha ni Crystalis. Life still ba yung kailangan mo sa Medusa? Parang hindi eh. Baka wala lang talaga siyang uh, makukuwang ibang tier 3 items na mas ideal. Pero kasi pag lifesteal, wala ka namang mapapala sa lifesteal kay Medu. Yung mana yung kailangan mo. Ari dito has been caught. Medyo malalim na si Ari. So uh, that's it. He's dead. Stone Geese was used from Crystalis. And now the bell strike coming off. Silence. Corner Spear catching out to Core Hero. Solar Guardian for the follow-up. Look at the burn. Crystal is still will manage, but they've lost some mail already for 50 seconds. Now Yamich might be next. Nullifier is included. Solar, I mean, uh, Supernova is going to be successful. Now FPZ getting chased down. They have the slow, they have the Sunday deletion coming up. Lotus Orb available para naman para kay FPZ to remove this. But he will die from the Sunday in the white one. That's the detail for the side of Team Secret. Or the Medusa, nabuhay naman yung Medu, so okay na yun. Mas inuna ni Timado yung Ember Spirit eh, no? compared sa Medusa. Now, Satanic. Ito lang ay magiging next item choice para sa Faceless Void. 29 minutes in. 18 gold, 18k gold advantage for the side of TSM. Ari? Yan mukhang hindi naman siya kaya pati ni Sumail. Now, Crystalis Dito has been caught. They had a Star Breaker. First up won't work. Dahil under yung Nullifier, but a Stone Gaze give him some movement speed. We'll be able to escape from it. Di naman mamatay si Crystalis. Timado. Meron pa rin naman siyang shield rune available. So, ano yun? Di, ano yung deliver? Ano yung deliver sa Faceless Void? Shard? I think Shard yung binili niya. So, meron na siyang uh, Reverse Time Hawk. Now Crystal is again, and this time they only have the chaotic offering to help out in Rolling Thunder. Might be enough. Crystal is still alive, but not anymore. They have the bash. No, the control given coming out from the Pangolier, just keeping their carry alive for now. But now there goes FPZ in trouble instead. Mystic Snake just getting a little bit of mana for the Crystal is so he's safe, running towards the Tormentor. He should be safe for now. Ano naman magagawa dito yung TSM? Nice save for Team Secret. Ginamit nila yung ultimate dun para lamalik tasi Crystal is. Chaotic Offering at Rolling Thunder Pinasak na sa Chronosphere Para magkaroon na sila ng control And for the Faceless Void Time of his way out Back to safety Kasana dito Meanwhile, medyo malalim na rin So they might be settling for the Tormentor instead I think uh, doable naman to Para kay Trial Tignan natin yeah, Sunray And Ooh, Sumail What are you doing? There goes the Melt Strike Couple of right clicks over to the Ember. You'll have to dodge the Remnant play coming up from Sumail. So he's backing off right now. Remnant's out, back to safety. Kasana did look at the pop the blade. Mel Crystalis tries to man up with the Stone Gaze, zoning them out. Do they have enough damage? Like using the Stone Gaze, but without any hitting anybody. It might be Kasane for the first target, but he'll make it. BGB is up. Kapag TP out pa rin naman si Kasane dito. 
And uh, nag-stick around pa rin naman si Pryl. Pero James. Uh, meron naman siyang uh, Meld Strike uh, Dispel Talent. Na uh, BKB use. And wala na magagawa dito yung Team Secret. Kailangan ng Basher ng Pangolier. Kasi isa rin yan sa pwedeng pang uh, control nila sa Faceless Void side Chronosphere. And then sa so mga ganong uh, ginagawa ng uh, TSM na BKB TP out. At least meron siya ng pang Disable. Not all the time available yung Chaotic Offering. Worth sana gamitin yung Chaotic Offering sa mga ganong situation kapag Core Hero yung nagkiti TP out. Pero yun nga, hindi available kasi ginagamit niya na kanina. So, second row Sean. Ito na lang yung magiging goal for the side of Team Secret. Are they sure about this? Delegado sila dito. Faceless Void. Chronosphere will be up in 10 more seconds. And Roshan is not dropping fast as they were expecting. So, aabot na pa nga sila dito ng Void. Well, Poppy will be scouted first. Where's the nullifier? Supernova committed. Void gonna able to protect this with a Chronosphere. And the Scholar Guardian coming off. It's a beautiful execution for the side of TSM. Four down for the side of Secret. Make it five. Just a full wipe secured. There's no answer for that one. Na baited out sila ng Supernova. Nung Phoenix. Sobrang obvious nun. Pag na Supernova ng ganun sa harapan nyo. Ibig sabihin natin yun tanay. Yung Faces Void. Tsaka nakita naman na yung Faces Void talaga. Nandun talaga. So pinilit pa rin nilang gawin yung Supernova. Bird. Pasok sa Chrono lahat. Thirty k gold advantage and bukang plano pa nilang kuna yung tormentor shard upgrade kanina mabibigay possible sa don breaker siguro. Ay actually that is lemme shard. So uh, talagang gold na lang ina provide ng shard ng tormentor dito two hundred eighty gold each. Pwede na. Parang nakapasag ng ano yun. Hindi, hindi lang tower kat ng bus nun eh. two hundred eighty gold each at tas nun. Mawawakan apat na bound ko doon ganun. 35 minutes and a smoke play for Team Secret knowing na wala tayong Chronosphere for TSM. Tignan natin kung sakaling kakayanin ba nila manalo sa teamfight. Age is available para sa Faces Void but now over to Bral who will be popping his BKB just like that. Crystalist looking for a potential target. It might be Ali but they have the Solar Guardian again for the sustain given Stormbreaker will be controlling them. And while the sun they keep on going, burning out the rest of the heroes on the side of Secret. They've lost Warlock and Aegis probably at the same time. Crystalis goes down for 60. No buyback. FBZ will be next. Poppy running. Buyback for the Aegis Prophet. And he won't be able to escape. Four down for the side of Team Secret. Game is over. GG has been gold. That's it. TSM will proceed to the Grand Finals. 2-0 up against Team Secret para sa ating lower bracket finals. Tiga natin kung sakaling makakabawi ba yung TSM up against Gaming Gladiators. The last time they faced each other, 2-1 yung score. So kahit pa paano, palig-palig naman yung TSM up against Gaming Gladiators. Pero for this series, it was a one-sided game. Especially this game number 2. Wala talaga naging sagot yung Team Secret dito. Draft-wise, sobrang pangit. Medusa. Not even sure why they picked Medusa. Nabusan na ba sila ng hero para kay Crystalis? Might be the reason. Pero Game 2 belongs to TSM. 2-0 tayo for the lower bracket finals. And magbabalik tayo for the grand finals after the short break. Thanks so much for watching guys. And be right back tayo.